While stationed in Astoria, Oregon in 2012, we found this cast iron farmhouse sink on Craigslist for $125. It needed a little work, but we decided to go ahead and get it. It came out of a barn and was originally cast on July 13, 1927. It did have a big chip in the front apron. However, the finish on the rest of the sink, including in the sink basin, was really good. This sink model was the Brentwood, and it was called the 3 8 because you had an 8-inch backsplash, an 8-inch sink, and an 8-inch apron front. It is 6 feet and 2 inches long and was originally $142. So I think we got a good deal. The exciting day has finally arrived. We are finally ready to start restoring it to get it ready for our house. Now this sink is a cast iron sink from 1927 and the first thing I get to do is remove lots of rust. So I've got some wire brushes, some tools I can put on the drill, and then I'm gonna wipe it all down and put some rust arresting primer on it and it'll be ready for a coat of paint to help protect the bottom of it. Uh, this obviously is not something that you're gonna see, but it's more of just to go ahead and seal it and protect it so that definitely lots of rust and corrosion under the sink. We had a little spider friend there. Okay, now it's time to get serious. Before, after. Okay, here we are about two hours later after doing all my prep work and we'll have a close look at it. Again, I was just trying to get off all the loose stuff and I vacuumed it up. I still have to wipe it down and I've got the temperature inside warmed up. I've been warming up the primer and we'll be ready to go. I'd like to note I wore a dust mask and this is what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty gross. Now that we have the loose rust off and we've done some sanding and some other areas, it's time to wipe down everything with denatured alcohol to get ready for painting. So I am using a Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. I got on my organic vapor uh, respirator and I'm not as great a painter as Stacy is. I think that's why I got the back of the sink. So it's been two days since I prepped and painted with primer the bottom of the sink and it has a nice matte appearance which means that the primer is set up and I'm going to wipe it down again with natured alcohol before I move on to applying the top coat which is going to be a gloss gray enamel. So let's get started. So for this first coat, I'm doing like a, I'm trying to do a really thin coat. I want to make sure that it's really going to adhere. We're at about 45 degrees, and so that's pretty marginal for doing paint. All right, the first coat of the gray is on, and it looks pretty good. Looks like it's adhering. So I'm going to go ahead and do another coat. Here is 
is the underside of the sink after the final coat. I am going to use a paint pen and color in all of the lettering and the manufacturing date. The back of the sink is done for now. The next step is going to be refinishing the front of the sink. And that is going to be in a couple of weeks when the weather's better and we have a break from other projects. Now that the back of the sink is primed and painted, we are going to build a wood cradle for it that will support the majority of the weight plus some legs. Here is our rough cut lumber. Another item that I got at the architectural salvage store were two turned wood posts. And I'm going to use those underneath the cradle on this for the sink. Everything has now been attached and it is time to paint. Here is the cradle after we have finished painting it. We're going to continue working on the sink. Uh, as seen previously, we've uh, redone the underside. There are some chips in the porcelain. So we need to work on patching those first. Uh, luckily there's no chips in the bowl area. And then uh, once those are patched, uh, we'll need to sand, clean, etch, and then the entire thing will get a new coating. We are using the bath work system. So first, we're going to do this repair kit we have on our respirators. And here we go. the chips uh, it turns out pretty well so now we're gonna sand everything I just want to this sanding is mostly just to focus on removing surface contaminants and then we'll use a chemical etcher and then we'll sand again This extra etching paste and also the fill material we used to fix the chips did not come in the original Bathworks kit. We purchased it separately direct from the company. Last step before painting is a liquid primer. We did two coats of the paint that comes with the Bath Works kit. It is very, very smelly, so you do want to use an organic vapor 
respirator but it is amazing it's it's wet right now but it's laying down very nicely and we'll see what it looks like once it dries and cures we have our bracket for our sink installed uh, we have the two legs in the front to support it and then along the back it's mounted to the studs we have eight leg bolts uh, holding it to the studs before we installed the sink, I went ahead and made up uh, some rough ends for the plumbing fittings. I'm not sure exactly where these need to go yet. Uh, we'll position those once we get the sink in here. But all they are is uh, dog ear L's for mounting to the wall with a close nipple and then a piece of pipe going down where we'll hook in our water lines. moving in the sink today it was heavy both my brother and I guessed it was about 300 pounds our sink is finally in the house and so to me the sink is home because it's the essence of our home it's like the design aesthetic just like our lights which are from the 1920s the sink is from the 1920s and we want to design our farmhouse with a kind of an antique 1920s farmhouse aesthetic I'm very, very happy and I'm very thankful to my brother-in-law, Randy, who helped load the sink in, as well as my other appliances. And, by the way, worked for VPI, which made our amazing windows for our house. So we had a good day today on the farm, a good farm day. And I feel like the heart of the home is now in the home. Now that we have the sink in, Stacy is attaching the faucet. Here is the final faucet installed. Now we need to plumb it. This is the final plumbing for the sink. There's also a little stub out for a future dishwasher and on the left there's a fitting for a future small fire hose. Our sink is in and completely plumbed. Now we can get years and years of use out of it. You know, it's only 90 years young. We are impressed with how the Bathworks kit worked. It saved us about five or six hundred dollars and driving it to and from Spokane. We recommend that product if you want to do it yourself. We put a flag on our front porch. That must mean we're all done, right? Not quite. On our next video, we will be working on finishing interior things, adding in our appliances and the hot water heater. Also moving in a lot of our furniture for the downstairs. So stay tuned and we will see you next time on the Tomarosa. Hey.